When it comes to fishing, there's a new catch of the day and you could be on the hook for your life savings. So we're going to throw you a life ring with some tips on how to keep yourself secure online. There's a number of ways that internet ID thieves are trying to score your information. Earlier I mentioned phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Now that's a term given to somebody being fraudulent online. So it would be maybe a scammer sending you an email representing a company in efforts to lure information from you. So before you do send any info, check the authenticity of that email. Then there's the hackers, criminal computer geeks who can crack the passwords of your accounts using software in a non-secured wireless network, like here at a coffee shop, for example. That's something that just really bothers me. Want to keep your Wi-Fi connection padlock protected from the bad guys? Well, there's a good guy who can help. I, I see people using their iPads, and I see people using their phones, and they're connecting to networks, and they have no idea that if anybody had just a little bit of a technical skill, they could steal all this information. Guy Rosario calls himself the good guy. He's a modern-day cyber warrior. There we go. A computer hacker who fights computer hackers. He gets paid to stay one step ahead of the game. In the past, he's been contracted by the American government, along with several multinational corporations. One thing he can't believe is how unprotected many people are in public. Their Facebook account, I can see their password credentials, I can see their, their pictures on their hard drive, I can even get to their music list. I don't know, I just, I, I wish more people would understand the implications of their privacy and how insecure they are. One way to protect your laptop or mobile device while using Wi-Fi in a public place is to install VPN or Virtual Private Network software. It's like creating a barricade around your user account. And you can get free ones uh, online, you know, from like download.com and uh, uh, you can get them for Macs and PCs. You can even get them for your devices like your tablets and your iPhone. What a VPN software does is it connects you to, it, through, to another point in the internet using an encrypted tunnel. So if I'm uh, playing the bad guy and I start scanning wirelessly with, let's say, a wireless uh, um, uh, high-powered uh, Wi-Fi card or scanner, I'd be able to grab all the information that you have unless it's encrypted. Uh, and you'd be amazed what type of information is being sent out in the clear from your cell phone to people's uh, laptops when they're connecting, uh, even with their business office uh, laptops in public uh, spaces like a coffee shop and such. Have you installed a virtual private network on your computer? I don't think so. I don't even know what that means. I just hooked up to the Wi-Fi on uh, online there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. are you worried about like computer hackers in the corner, maybe skimming or trying to steal some of your information? You know what? It's always in the back of your mind. But as long as you know how to double-click on an icon for VPN, you're golden. Excuse me, I hate to be nosy, but are you on the wireless network here? No, I'm using my 3G network. Oh, that's good because uh, actually, guy says that 3G is pretty safe. Wow. If you think your ID is being compromised online, there are four quick things you should do. Firstly, contact the local police, then your financial institutions, file a fraud alert on your credit report, and then get in touch with the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. But the best way of avoiding all this is prevention. In part two, we'll look at how to create a secure password that hackers will hate, as well as how to protect yourself online in the home. In Victoria, I'm James Green.